Eric with Wolfman Luggage, and I'm going to show you how to attach a e-base to your motorcycle. Here's my XR650L, and I'm going to show you just a quick run through, some general pointers on attaching the e-base to your motorcycle. I'm going to first point out a few things. These are what I call the legs. They go down the side of the motorcycle, and this is your center, your center area. Also, these two slots right here kind of tell you where the exact center is of the base so you can set it up and align it on your motorcycle correctly. So it's real simple. Set it on like so. All right, I'm going to just keep eyeballing that center. A couple of things I want to look for. Since this bike has a rack, I like to go around with the rear strap through some of the slots around again and i like to do the rear first as it helps me align the bike so one of the things i want to look out for is turn signals i want to make sure that with a bag on there i'm not going to hit the turn signals or anything like that so that looks about right for me like that i like to keep it aligned all right i'm going to cross over I use the BSG buckle down here, and I'll zoom in on it. The BSG is just this plastic little thing I've used for years. Let me get the center strap out of the way. I like to cut my webbing at an angle. It just flows through the cam lock buckle and anywhere on the motorcycle much easier. So I'll just go through the BSG into the buckle. I do this on both sides, snug them down, and I'll show you. I'm gonna quickly get this side done. And when I tighten things, I don't yank. I don't like to yank on webbing. That's not good. I like to grab it with one hand, kind of snug it down this way. So what do you do with the tail? As I like to keep a little bit of tail so it's easier to grab. Too short, you just fight it. I just tuck it behind the space of the cam lock, like so. Makes it tidy when it's nice and snug. It doesn't flop around. This one can actually get adjusted a little bit further back. So let some tension off. Pull it back a little bit. And you can do it on either side. That's why there's two buckles so you can adjust it. Also, I don't use cam buckles back here because if you use a, a duffel bag like a TW22 or TW40, depending on size of base, these work by pushing. And chances are that bag with some weight in is going to hit those cam buckles and loosen it up. So I like to use just straight old slip lock or ladder lock buckles like that so back here let's go around so i want to snug this down snug it up fold and roll tuck this webbing here all right so that's it this is your center strap your leg straps will go here your bag will attach here you can attach bottles all kinds of things with fillet straps. I like fillet straps. They're very simple, kind of intuitive. Your strap would thread through here, and I've shown you that on a previous video. So this one's all set up because it had passenger pegs and so on with a 650L, DR650, and so on. Let's say you have a KTM EXC series, a Husky, I think it's the FE, uh, and a gas gas of the equivalent design you're going to have that subframe come up to here, like on a Honda, uh, let's see, what is that, CRF450L. So you're going to have that subframe come here. Just wrap, I'll show you, I'm going to undo this real quick. You're going to want to wrap that around that junction. So you get some downward force around the junction and then back through the buckle. Very simple. So the rear section, let me just rethread this and I'll explain how to do the rear. There's a couple ways you can do it. I don't use the tension matic that we did in the past, mainly because a lot of the uh, tail sections are so narrow or just so straight. 
and you would fight it, it would move, and, and you're constantly messing with it. So I just used the single strap. And what you can do on like a Husky is that, let's say this is the rear fender. Their taillight on a KTM, Husky, and Gas Gas, the taillight sits just right under it, and there's this great space to take this strap, so I'll undo it, give you an example, and just wrap it under the uh, rear fender, right above the tail light and back through the buckles. So there's this great little space for that. Makes it very simple. Don't have to add anything. If you would really like to make something a little more permanent, you can get a BSG strap, which we sell now, and just attach that, maybe two of them, on the top of the fender. Then you would just tighten it up like normal. And what's nice about that setup with those bikes is that once you set this rear strap, you just loosen the legs and slide it out from under. So that's it pretty much in a nutshell, how to attach a B-base, excuse me, an E-base to your motorcycle. And for more information, check us out online at wolfmanluggage.com forward slash pages forward slash threadworks. And remember, this is all handmade goodness by me and Moto Perfection.